everyone, it's Julie Powell. Sorry I haven't been around for a while, it's been very, very busy. But I thought I'd just pop in today and just do a quick run through on a recent piece that I did um, called Morning Coffee. Uh, this was really just put together with a few simple images that are available from Pixabay. And, uh, and I'm just going to give you a run through now on how I did it. So this is the finished piece, so we're going to go back. And I started off with this image, which I cropped, I believe. Um, and then I went through and changed the colors um, going in through image mode. You can replace the color. Um, you can select the color that you want to replace. which in this case is the blue because I think it's originally yellow and then you can play around with it, change the different hues, you can do whatever you want to it, you can change your saturation etc and play with it that way. Um, in the end it didn't really matter uh, because I ended up turning it to black and white because I didn't like the colour scheme that I ended up with but that's how you can replace the colour. Um, it also did the coffee but same again it doesn't matter because I'm replacing placing an image over the coffee anyway so I'll just cancel and get out of that. So what I've done is I created a shape and made sure that it's set to shape not to path or pixels and I put that in so you can just go in if you use the space bar you can maneuver it around to wherever you want you can make it a bit bigger a bit smaller um, you can of course once you've finished with it you can alter the size so you can make it bigger or smaller or whatever so that's how I created that white one then what I did was I brought in this image which is just another image of clouds which I also ran through a filter where is it distort um, to spherize it to, to round it out a bit so that it looks like it's sort of molding itself to the the shape of the coffee cup so I've just set it to 100% set it to normal and as you can see it's bulging it out and and making it more of a sphere there so I've done that and then what I did was I attached it by clipping so if you hold in between these two layers and hit alt you'll get this little arrow and that'll then clip this image into that shape so it will be held by the shape below it and and I can actually move that image around um, and do whatever I want to it and it will stay within that shape. Another um, image I then put over the top which is this steam if I set that to normal mode as you can see it's just some steam or smoke on a black background and if I set that to screen the black disappears and it just gives us a steamy look coming out from the coffee. I then added this texture over the top um, if I show you this complete so it's just a random texture I just like the, the look of it set that to soft light and drop that down to about 50 percent so that then gives me this image here I then went and added these birds um, this is actually just a brush and then I've got another image which are these birds on a wire um, didn't quite fit how I wanted it to so going into the transform tool a warp and then I, I sort of you can grab the little nodules here the nodes and you can move things around to to get it to bend how you want so I got it to bend with the spoon so it looked like it was just sitting on the edge of the spoon and it's just a line across the spoon I'll merge the image by the, the the move control shift alt and enter and then I took it into topaz and I 
restyled it um, into a black and white image. And I'll just show you this, it'll bring it up in a tick. Um, and from memory the one that I went with was Torp Grey and Black. Um, and you, you can play around with various different hue settings and your layers and I mean obviously there's no no real temperature control here. Um, but you can fiddle around with various different bits and pieces, your saturation, your luminosity, etc. Um, play with that. I softened it off a bit, added some more contrast um, and so forth. So that was that. So as you can see, pretty much the same thing. Every time you play with it, you end up with a slightly different result. I then took a copy of that image and I took it into Topaz Impressions this time and I out added a obscurity filter from memory. There's, I mean, I could have added a, a charcoal pencil one or, you know, various different ones, but um, an impasto would have been quite nice as well. Um, actually, but um, I think it was this one, the obscurity one, that, uh, that I ended up using. Okay, so I left it set at normal, but I did drop the opacity because it was quite a, a bit too obscure um, on full, so I dropped it down a bit. So it gives a lovely soft finish to it. It's still got some of the details and you can see the texture. Um, all the contrasts are quite nice. You can still see the steam, the birds, etc. Um, and then pretty much I just put my logo on it. And that's it. So um, hope you enjoyed that one and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time and don't forget to subscribe. Bye for now.